Hello, Internet. It is Tuesday, October 8th. I am your host, Chet Siegel. And if you hear some hammering, don't worry. We at Guyism are getting some new bathrooms. So that is what that sound is. And this is your Guyism speed round. The $100 bill got a makeover today. The U.S. Treasury added new colors, a security feature, and a quill. Said the United States government very softly, That's right, America. Just look at the pretty new colors. Don't ask yourself why we're printing all this new money. Ooh, colors. Also, did you know that $100 bills are the second most used currency in the United States? Like, just behind the $1 bill. I mean, if that isn't just like a perfect fucking statistic that demonstrates like wealth disparity in the United States, I don't know what the fuck is. Scarlett Johansson won Esquire Magazine's title of Sexiest Woman Alive again this year after last winning the title in 2006. Oh my god. Scarlett Johansson has been dead for seven years and just came back to life. The last time I saw a pair of dead boobs that nice, I was going through Angelina Jolie's hospital garbage can. A Brazilian drug dealer was crushed to death by over a thousand pounds of his own weed during a police car chase. The drug dealer's last words were, Aw oh man, purple kush? More like purple crush. Fuck! I guess you can die from weed. A woman in Arizona chased a coyote around her house with a broom for a full half an hour before the coyote just left through a doggy door. Said the coyote, Fox News recently installed enormous touchscreen computers in their broadcasting command center. Well, it's either that or the rumors really are true and the Republican Party is shrinking. According to a recent poll, four out of five Americans believe that the Washington Redskins should keep their name even though it's a racial slur. Oh, sorry, uh, this just in. The four out of five Americans took the fifth American's vote by force, and so now five out of five Americans agree that they should keep their name. Said a representative from the Oneida Indian Nation, You gave that slur to my people, and now you want to take it back? Talk about an Indian giver. Another man, this time in Spain, was crushed to death after a truck accidentally dumped five tons of grapes onto him. Hmm. I do smell just a hint of dead guy in my mug wine. A Nebraska court ruled that a 16-year-old foster girl was too young to have an abortion, and so now she'll have to raise the child. On the flip side, the court also ruled that the father can abort himself from having to raise the child. In honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, NFL players have added pink accents to all of their uniforms. So remember, ladies, if you get felt up during a football game this month, it could save your life. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's Guyism Speed Round. I have been and will continue to be Chet Siegel. If you liked what you saw, click that like button on down below. Shoot this link to a couple of your nearest and dearest. If you got questions for me, by God, ask them on my Facebook page. Or tweet them at me, at Chet Siegel. Either way, they're going to get to me. I promise. Just make sure that you come back tomorrow for more headlines that you need to know. I don't know what I'm going to be for Halloween yet. Maybe I'll be Daria. I don't get the Angelina Jolie thing, actually. I think she looks like fucking Skeletor. But who doesn't, right? I mean, that's not a new statement. God, Scarlett Johansson's so hot that when other women try to say her name, they become uglier. <laughs> oh my God. Scarlett Johansson was dead for seven years. Seven or six? Seven. Because I can do math. I just made a verbal slur. It's not racial. It's vocal. I fucked that up.